OFSEC has updated the OSCP exam, which is their flagship exam and one of the most well-known certifications for hands-on penetration testing. Now, I do want to be clear, this video was not sponsored in any way by OFSEC. I'm quite certain OFSEC is never going to sponsor my YouTube channel. For those of you who know me, you know that I've been very honest about how I feel about OFSEC and the OSCP back when I took it in 2022, but I want to give kudos and I want to give credit where it is due. I think the changes OFSEC is making are really positive. They're going to have a good impact for future learners and for the certification as a whole. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into these changes. I'll give you my initial reaction and some of the main takeaways as I've been reading through this and figuring out what exactly is going on. The first major change is there is a new certification. They call it the OSCP Plus. Now, when I did the OSCP, there was just the OSCP. There was no plus after it. And the reason for this, if you read kind of behind the lines, it's because of the government. If you want a certification recognized by the government, you need to require renewals and CPEs and continued education. Lifetime certs generally aren't recognized by the government because of those reasons. Now, one of the things I liked about the OSCP is the fact that it was a lifetime cert. And when I first saw this, I almost lost my mind. I was like, no way, it's no longer going to be lifetime but they found a really cool middle ground. So the OSCP, which is what I have, is not going away, but they are introducing an OSCP Plus that will expire after three years, but you can renew it with CPEs and other training through OFSEC or OFSEC certifications. But here's the thing, even if you allow the OSCP to expire, you'll just revert back to having the OSCP certification. So once again, kudos to OFSEC. They figured out a way to please the government and have their certification recognized by the government without taking away the lifetime access and the lifetime certification of the OSCP. So that's one big win that they did, the OSCP plus and still keeping the OSCP. The other big changes are to the exam itself. So one big change is updating the active directory portion of the exam. Now, when I did the AD of the exam, which AD was in it in 2022, you had an external facing web app or service that you first had a compromise before you could even get access to the internal AD portion. And I always kind of thought that was crazy because you're not testing me on AD at that point. You're testing me on web apps and if I can get through the CTF on the outside so I can get to the AD portion of the exam. Well, now they are doing an assumed breach scenario, which means that you will be given a username and a password right away to the Active Directory environment. And the reason I really like this is this is how 99% of AD pen testing is done in the real world. So many of you know this, I'm a pen tester. I do a bunch of different assessment types, including internal pen tests or active directory pen testing. And most of the time, the client will give us a low privilege username and password, a user on their domain. And we use that user to pivot deeper into the environment and see if we can get to domain admin. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing in this exam. It's an assumed breach or assumed compromise scenario. You're given AD credentials and you don't have to do anything to get in. You're already in the exam, already in the active directory environment, which I think is a better test of whether or not you have AD pen testing skills rather than having to breach it first and then get access. The second thing here is what about bonus points? Well, they are removing bonus points. Now, I know some of you are going to be mad about this. I think it's a great thing. I never did the bonus points, and I think people are overly reliant on the bonus points going into the exam, and they're doing this for a few reasons. One is there's no other exam by OFSEC that offers bonus points, and honestly, just other exams. You think about the CPTS or PMPT, you don't have the option to get bonus points. Either you pass the exam and get the cert, or you don't pass and you don't get the cert as well as, and I saw this on Discord, a lot of people were trying to get the bonus points so they could skip the active directory portion of the exam. But yo, it is now 2024. If you want to be a pen tester, you're going to need to know Active Directory. Don't try to skip it. Don't try to bypass it. Dig in and learn. So they are fully removing bonus points as of November 1st, 2024. And those are the biggest changes I've noticed. One other small thing is on the AD side of it. Back when I did Active Directory, it was kind of like a winner takes all. If you did not fully compromise all of Active Directory, you got zero points. Well, now they do have partial points for Active Directory. So if you get machine one or machine two or machine three, I'm guessing this is domain admin, you get different points based on where you're at. So then there's some different ways that you can pass the exam. But the big thing I want you to notice is no matter what you do, you're going to have to do some active directory. And overall, I think these updates are very positive. Want to give once again, a shout out to OFSEC. Usually I'm not giving shout outs to them, but 
Honestly, this is a huge change, a big change, a good change, and hopefully it reflects some of what the OSAP is going to look like in the future. So, hey, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments and would love to hear from you.